Hello. Oh. <coughs> Sickness is getting better, but uh, it's still pretty bad. Apparently it snowed, so let me go check it out. Probably a bunch of wind, but it's it's a white Christmas out there. It's funny because yesterday it was like 50 degrees, and then now it's 7. The, the weather here is so bipolar. Ladies and gentlemen, I have an idea, actually. Your boy is stuck indoors. Not only because I'm still kind of sick, but it's still windy out, and there's a bunch of snow. So, so in this video... So in this video, we're going to try something a little different. I'm sorry for the driver that has to deal with this, but you know what? It is what it is. As you guys know, I am Filipino. I've only tried African food, like, probably once. What we're going to be doing today is we're going to be door dashing some, uh, some African food, and pretty much we're going to be taste testing it. So hopefully it tastes good. I can't imagine it would taste bad, but uh, that's what we're going to be doing. I'm going to be looking for the one with the highest rating. Okay, answer in the comments. Which one's better? One with one rating, but five stars, or one with 49 rating? ratings 4.2 stars probably the second one i think they have a few more options at uber eats so we're gonna give that a shot as well i know for a fact i'm gonna be ordering some jollof i know that's their rice and uh that sounds really good definitely gonna order ah, i'll stick to doordash i got a dash pass ladies and gentlemen i have made a final decision on what i'm gonna get the jollof rice it is 27 <laughs> 27 so here's what they got for the options they got tilapia fish they got the cassava croaker fish they also got goat meat uh, chicken or beef? Should I do chicken? Yeah, nah, actually we'll do beef. I hope this lasts me a long time. Y'all better watch this video like 300 times. The total's 45. Jesus. I had to tip the guy so it was $52. Oh. Alright, we'll see you in about 45 minutes then. We got it, boys. As I mentioned, I ordered uh, Jollof rice with some beef. Cannot forget about Prime. This is my last Prime, so I, I, I need to, I need to buy some more. Ooh, got some plantains. Got the rice, and we also got the beef. This is great and all, but is it worth? How much was it? Like thirty-two dollars? Mm -hmm. I thought they would fill this up to the brim. Fun fact: I completely forgot what a plantain was, and I realized it's just like another banana. Nice bite right here. That's pretty good. A little spicy. We love that. Nice bite. Alright, we'll try the plantain. Don't know why they add bananas, but, you know. Mm. <clears throat> Most important part, got beef. Mm. There's the beef. Mm. Good plantain. This chicken? Oh, it is. Fire. See, this isn't the first time I've tried, like, actual, like, African food, but this is the first time I'm trying jollof, so. For, for a good title, we'll say that this is my first time. Alright. Final rating, we're gonna do each like part of the food here. So we got, obviously we got the rice, the beef, and then the plantain. We'll kind of rate everything out of 10. Let's see what the average rating is. Plantain, a solid seven. Didn't add too many seasonings into it. I think they just like fried it up and stuff. So nothing too crazy. Really good though. Got the beef, give it a shot. This might be a little biased since I'm, I'm in America and stuff and I love medium rare steak. With that being said, the beef's gonna have to be, uh, it's gonna have to be a six. It's a little chewy because I think it's like well done. At least the flavor's really good. And then finally, the jollof rice itself. It's a 10 out of 10. It's really good. Well, according to my calculations, with 7 plus 6 plus 10, 23 divided by 3. 7.6 out of 10, which I think will round it up to an 8. Tran. Overall, really good. I'm gonna eat more of this. I'm hungry. I was in the middle of eating the rice. <laughs> I found a, found a gem. It's a piece of shrimp. Tastes good. Well, Aldwin, you're in the car and you said that you'd be stuck at home the whole day? Well, where do you think you're going? I'm actually feeling a lot better, so I'm gonna head to the gym, actually. I can't miss two sessions in a row. I'm gonna get a pump in. Depending on how I feel, I might do a little bit of uh, bag work, but I'm not really sure yet. Yesterday, there was literally no snow at all. Last night alone added, like, what? A feet and a half of snow or something like that. This feels like the beginning of January. I'm only assuming this snow is not gonna last long though. So, but we'll see. This uh, this snow might last long. Who knows? Yeah, there's people snow blowing, and it's about to be ten. I don't know why they're still snow blowing. I hope my gym isn't closed. I'm really hoping. Otherwise, I'd be kind of sad. Please me, baby. Please, you got what I want in me. Cause I Ladies and gentlemen, it's surprisingly a little busy right now. I didn't think there would, there's actually a lot of cars. What the hell? All right, well, 
gym time. Can't lie to you, I'm, I'm, I'm more susceptible to being cold right now, especially since I'm sick. We made it through the workout. It's kind of cold in here, actually. <laughs> Looking really far, what do you think, boys? Not too shabby, definitely. We're kind of just threading over 140 right now, still on the shredding season. I think I'm down to do a little bit of bag work. I think we could definitely do that, just to get some sweat off. Triceps looking pretty good. This side looking really good, too. I think I'm just going to be doing some light, um, some light punching. I'm not going to put on the wraps. Nothing crazy, just very light. Still not feeling the greatest, but something to get me off my feet a little bit. Oh, 11, 11. Someone make a wish. Let's all make a wish right now. Three, two, one. All right, great. I, I made a wish. Did you guys make a wish? Yeah, 11, 11. Okay, anyway, I'm actually finally remembering stuff that I want to talk about in this video, so that's a good sign that I'm not as sick anymore. One is that little fun fact, we actually had to close down the daycare today because the snow was, you know, per, per pretty bad. We've had some days where, like, we closed it and then, it, like, the snow wasn't hitting at all. I'm glad that we did it this time because it did hit really hard. And the schools were closed, too, so it just makes more sense that way. And two, I uh, just wanted to do a little quick rant about the fair. So the fair has actually added another person into the list of uh, musical acts that they want to put into the fair. Uh, Ludacris. Who cares? Who cares, bro? Who cares? Yes, he's got move, bitch. Get out the... Yeah, and he's also got some features with a bunch of artists, but besides that, it, who cares, bro? I'm imagining the scenario where it would absolutely break the city, break the state, actually. Quote, unquote, he goes, ladies and gentlemen, for this next song, I want to bring out a special guest. Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber sings the baby part and he does the rapping part. That would actually be kind of sick. There's a better chance of me beating Javonta Davis and Manny Pacquiao in a 2v1 match in boxing than having that happen. So, uh, <laughs> also another thing about the fair that I wanted to talk to you guys about is that, remember how I said a while ago that uh, the fair is actually three weeks long? Uh, no. It's actually three weekends long. It's gonna be three weekends, Thursday to Sunday for each weekend, which I guess in my favor, it, it kind of works because I know I'm not gonna be at the fair like every single day. They want money that bad, huh? Like I'm assuming this year they're gonna have a lot of money from like the tickets and sales and all that kind of stuff. And what they bring out freaking ludicrous? <laughs> I've been dodging death in a six speed. Amphetamine, now my stomach feeling sickly. Don't ask me, I'll never tell. And this is crazy. Ah, nothing like some uh, some some creatine, some some protein, and. African, <laughs> some African food to end the night off. And also got some lemonade, uh, some tea and lemonade to kind of uh, help with the throat stuff. So hope that was enough clips. <laughs> hope you guys have a good night. I love y'all. See y'all tomorrow.